This is a Star Wars Blade Builders Path of the Force lightsaber toy, and it was released by Hasbro in 2017. So what's neat about this lightsaber toy, you guys, it lights up, it makes all the cool lightsaber sounds, but in addition to that, you can sort of choose your destiny and you can change your mind too. So you can choose the Path of the Sith with this accessory here, or the Path of the Jedi with this other accessory over here. And um, that's just a really neat feature. Even the blade color changes, and I will demo that in just a little bit. But the color schemes are really strong. You know, this Sith color scheme, it's got all of this black and red, very Sithy of it. Um, and then the, the Jedi theme over here, well, I should also say there's the Sith logo on there. The Jedi one over here has the Jedi logo. It has some blue in it and a bit of gold there and just kind of some gray, silver, kind of friendlier um, colors. Although both of these um, accessories, you guys, are kind of neat. Uh, they, they have some spring-loaded features. So like this Sith accessory, for example, if I press this button, these legs kind of extend out. Legs or claws, I'm not sure what you would call them. So that's a pretty cool feature. You could do some of them, or you could just fold up all of them and have them kind of spring out. So that's pretty cool, kind of spider-like in a way. Now the Jedi piece, uh, it also has a spring-loaded feature and you might say, well, where is it? Um, so it's a little bit hidden. It's kind of behind this shield thingy. So you press this button here, bam. <laughs> it's sort of like this knife. Um, it's all plastic, it's fine. Uh, this sort of plastic piece Looks like there's little kind of um, lightning bolt thingies kind of in indented in it. So that's kind of cool too. But, you know, let's check out the lightsaber hilt itself. So you can see that the colors on this hilt, they're a little bit neutral, although there's quite a bit of black. So we have black, we have silver. Um, we kind of have different colors um, from each of these accessories on there. Although, you guys, there really is a lot of black, so I don't know. Is this a Sith lightsaber or a Jedi lightsaber? So, uh, let's turn it on, though. So see, when I turn it on, it looks like that. The blade is brighter in, uh, in real life, you guys. Now, if I turn it off and turn it on again, it becomes blue. So that's when I just have the hilt like this. Um, it'll just, you know, um, each time you press the button, it'll change colors. But if I attach the accessories, so like if I attach this Jedi one, which I do, I just kind of slide it in like so. That means it's registered. And now I turn it on and it's going to be blue every time I turn it on. So I can turn it on get that nice clashing action, as is really awesome with lightsabers. I can also do that little thing. So that's how it is with the Jedi. And then if I want to remove this, I just kind of push this blue button in a little bit and twist and accidentally <laughs> turn on the lightsaber too. All right, so now I can put on the Sith one. Let's get those kind of spider leg thingies back in there. Now you can hear that um, made a different sound. So there's a different sound font, uh, different kind of sound to the, the dark side one. And I can, of course, activate those spider legs as well. And one thing I can do, I can be a little crazy, I can be both Jedi and Sith at the same time. And, oops. I think I have to do it this way, actually, you guys. Otherwise, that shield thing gets in the, way, in the way. But there, I can have this very long hilt that has um, all the different features, although the knife thingy comes out the back. Then I got the spider leg thingies that come out there, and then I can turn on the lightsaber. Now, it will still be a Sith lightsaber since that's the closest piece to the hilt. <laughs> But there's a lot of play value to this, so it's really cool that you can kind of choose uh, whether you're Jedi or Sith and kind of mix and match, you know, the pieces like that. And also the spring-loaded components of uh, both the Jedi and Sith piece, that's pretty cool too. 
And then, of course, it's part of the Star Wars Blade Builders line, which is by Hasbro, and that means you can mix and match different Blade Builders components from other sets as well, which is really the neat part about the Blade Builders line, just in general. So uh, this has just been a quick look at Star Wars Blade Builders Path of the Force. It's a really neat lightsaber toy by Hasbro, and I'll link to it below if you're interested.